Four mods ruined by cloud chasers. Okay, okay, after six years on YouTube, this was bound to happen. I think I need to make an apology video because I've made a terrible lapse in judgment. I would like to formally apologize for spreading the knowledge, the sanctity, the sacredness of drag tires, and letting it fall in the hands of the clout boys. Forgive me, car community, for I have sinned. I have failed us. It's all my fault. The fat tire sidewalls, the thicky vickies, that look, that sleeper secret I let out into the public without realizing just how much damage it would do. You know, when I first made that video, it didn't really have any views, but what have I done? Look at it now. And I challenged them too. I boldly declared the clout boys, they ain't gonna get to this one. They're never gonna get to it because they would never stomach the concept of mismatching wheels, especially with large sidewall and small diameter rims, because that's completely counter to the current clout culture. Not realizing that clout culture evolves, it adapts, it's ever changing like a horrible, horrible predator constantly hunting and stalking its prey being views on TikTok. I underestimated broke boy culture too because now we got some MFs running small wheels in the back of their stock Camrys that aren't actually drag wheels or beadlocks. They're just a smaller wheel than stock like a 15 or 16 that they just pulled out of a junkyard and they smacked a bald tire onto it and claimed it's a drag radio just to achieve this look. Nah 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 like I failed you know my hubris it has let me down it has let us all down. I had faith that our sacred drag tire sleeper look would be too avant-garde for these clout boys to stomach mimicking but i failed to acknowledge that they literally do not have functioning brain cells so i should have known that clout boys will literally do anything for the sake of clout yeah really really stupid apology video like talking aside a lot of you guys left comments on my latest short saying how ever since my video there are a lot of people who run drag tires and you know i don't really go to car meets or car shows anymore that's one hell of an understatement by the way i really haven't gone to a car show in like a year and a half and i haven't been to a car meet in like a year but i finally did this past Wednesday just to see what I missed. Despite being a decently sized meat, you know, wasn't super large, not even a single minute goes by and I see two bone stock fair ladies. Okay, not totally bone stock. They have like a cat back. That's it. Just an exhaust. But they also have drag tires with bead locks on them and they didn't have forced induction because they both had their hoods up and I didn't see anything. I didn't see any spoolie boys hiding underneath their exhaust either and plus they themselves didn't say it. So they're running maybe like 300 something horsepower, right? Drag tires. Too long a 300 horsepower car i'm sorry that's a skill issue like these are the same type of people to use magic and dark souls and still think it's a hard game like if you're sliding your car at that low of horsepower I, I don't i don't think i can help you you know like i said just just get good anyways the reality is they probably don't need those tires they literally just did them for looks with all due respect it's not worth skidding in rain just for the look especially in a car that didn't even need it because funnily enough i think performance summer tires would actually launch their car better better while still turning much better while still having better dry grip. God, that's such a clout boy thing. I'm sorry. I can't believe I, they got to us, bro. They got to it. I, I failed us. I've let them know about it. I told them that like they wouldn't do this. I, I challenged them. I shouldn't have challenged them. Anyways, on to the next car mod that was ruined by Clout Chasers. This one's been kind of obvious. It's exhaust or lack thereof. So how many times do I have to keep telling some people out there that exhaust gases do not go faster when you get a larger diameter straight pipe? <laughs> Keep that speed up, keep that pressure up, and for the love of God, add a crossover pipe. Like, these guys are just loud and slow. It could have been even toned and fast, but nah, they gotta be bleeding everyone's eardrums because they're sad boys who grew up with too many daddy issues. There are plenty of videos that talk about reversion or crossovers and how they can speed up exhaust flow, increase exhaust scavenging, and obviously boost performance. All of that while making a nice, even tone. Like, this crap isn't even expensive. The point I'm trying to illustrate is big, loud straight pipes do not equal power. In fact, there are plenty of videos that have actually dynoed cars that have actually shown a loss in power. And this is true of motorcycles too, where motorcycles will also lose power when you straight pipe it because who would have guessed? That's not how exhaust scavenging works. And the whole don't knock it till you try it. Well, I've run my Mustang with open headers as a meme because when I first put the cap back on it, so it has Shelby GT350 exhaust on it, it used to have Roush axle backs. But when I was fixing the car, I was like, I may as well just change the exhaust as well. 15 minutes of my life and now I was like, ah, there's people who unironically like this sound. It just sounded like a continuous wet fart. So yes, I have tried it. So now I do get to knock it. It's stupid. 
Next up, we got car wraps. Remember when people wrap cars just to swap colors cheaply? Heck, remember when only company vans used vinyl wraps and like the average consumer or driver didn't even know what they were otherwise? Bro, take me back, bro. I miss those days because now we got all these wacky designs. Like, don't get me wrong, sometimes they still look good and I get that people enjoy them. I ain't even gonna lie though. A lot of these people who do drive some of these cars can be pretty toxic. And that includes myself because this apology video ain't even over because you already know yours truly has also added to this problem. Whereas the first problem I added to by making a video about it because I don't actually have drag tires, this problem I added to it by actually taking part in it. I used to have an Natasha wrap on my car and I know some people are gonna call me a hypocrite for like, oh, so you do not like it? Here's the crazy part. I actually still like it. I still love the way Natasha looks. I still think it goes hard. I hate American Natasha culture because it's 50% clout chaser. So this is one of the situations where I think the mod is generally ruined by clout even though the mod itself isn't bad. If you want a flashy wrap color, if you want a flashy wrap design, even if people try to tell you that things like camo is overdone or overrated or half and half is ugly, if you truly want those things, you should still get it, right? Even if you want a Natasha, you should still get it. But I would be lying to you if I said that there aren't a ton of people that do it solely for attention and then make it everyone else's problem when they don't get that attention. And that's basically the American Natasha community just summed up. I've made an unlisted video talking about this, but I'm actually going to finally talk about it now because it's been two years. So I quit car vlogging solely because of stalker issues that I had with a lot of these weebs. A lot of these Natasha, I guess, admirers or even other Natasha owners, they just be wild and bro. Like one of the worst situations is I actually had someone black blackmail me into giving them my number through a friend actually they basically threatened one of my friends by saying hey if you don't give me bladed's number i'm gonna go kermit um we're just gonna put two pictures up here and, and say those words all right so it's just just say that if you catch my drift that's basically what he was trying to blackmail me with and that wasn't even the worst incident like a lot of people who do like again mostly atasha raps because like i still gotta admit it looks nice more importantly i think japan kept it classy where they don't make a big deal about it but a a lot of people in the United States make a huge deal about it. They do it for attention. They do it for awards. I, I just don't care, right? I, I think I've moved on from flashy car wraps, and I think all of the fun that I think I could have had got sucked out by clout culture. Like, if I could turn back time, my biggest mistake was going to anime conventions. I think if I just stayed at car meets, I would have been fine. But funnily enough, most of the hate actually came from other weebs, because, dude, weebs just be wild. And, like, there's still a lot of people misunderstand that on this video when I read the comments through where people are like, oh, bladed, don't let the haters sink in. Dude, dude, I love anime, and, like, I would have stood by you, and, like, I want I wanted Natasha now, too, and we can, like, vlog here. No, no, that stay away from me. Stay. That's exactly my problem. Like, it was so ironic seeing them, where I was like, did they even watch the video, like, throw their freaking life on my lap? Like, yo, bladed, I saw that you have a Natasha. Oh, I have a Natasha, too. Like, wow, we're, like, best friends now, and I'm like, that's not how this works, and then they would try to, like, follow me around, and, and I, I don't like when people People do that when they act like they're your best friend just because you have one thing in, or I guess in this case two things in common like wow anime and cars and that that's like something that only people who are terminally online and have very parasocial issues would struggle with because again I'd, I've never really had this issue with car guys most car guys aren't that creepy because again by default most of us have had some socialization in real life at this point yeah there's some sad boys who trauma dump at car meets when it's a coin flip right when like if you see Natasha owner and there's a basically one two chance that they're going to be completely a wall psycho and not have any social boundaries because they're just a basement dweller weeb who barely leaves their house and then finally wrap their car for haha -ha funny anime waifu and thinks that you're their best friend because of that i'm not dealing with that anymore i'm just not like legit i'm sorry this entry had to go on so long Anyways, that's that debacle, so let's move on to the final mod, which are wheels. Wheels have had a lot of toxicity around them, particularly in the past few years. Look, for me, if wheels are strong enough relative to my car's power, like for the needs that I need or for the needs that you need, if they're decent looking and they're lightweight, that's all I can ask for. But dang, wheel elitists are some of the most insecure and most annoying morons you will find in the car community right now. Like, literally, wheel elitists are actually more annoying than the rep wheel owners that they make fun of. Like, I'm not gonna defend rep wheel owners. I'm not an apologist for them. I still think they need to get off rep wheels, and I still think it's a 
horrible idea to be on rev wheels, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to make it a daily living to constantly rag all them because I actually have other things in my life to do other than focus on, oh, look how cool my personality revolves around spending seven grand on forged wheels. Please praise me. Oh, you don't have seven grand wheels? You're poor. Like that's literally just who they are in a nutshell because even if you have a, like a mid-tier brand, huge air quotes here, because I just use a mid-tier brand. Like here's the pyramid that they made. I'm fine with this, right? Like they're rotary forged. They've not bent so far. I've gone cross country to California and back. So literally coast to coast, still not bent several 25,000 miles later. I'm happy because like my OEM wheels were total crap for this car. I do run OEMs on my other cars and I run OEMs on my motorcycles. I don't really care to go out of my way to go buy seven grand or 15 grand or 16 grand worth of forged wheels. Clout has totally ruined wheels. Like, holy crap. Because, like, most of these people who are wheel elitists nut chug JDM Company specifically. They're just like, yo, bro, if you don't have Advans or Blitz 03s or Gram Lights, bro, 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 you're poor. You're freaking pores. Get off your freaking rep wheels, pores. You're on OEM wheels, pores. You're on HREs, pores. You're on Forge Lines or Forge Stars, pores. Meanwhile, they're saying that while they have 29% APR on their wheels and on their car and on their air suspension. So who's the real poor? And it has nothing to do with me disliking JDM stuff or not liking the way it looks. Again, I actually think most Advan's wheels look good. I like most of Volks Racing's wheels, actually. Here's the crazy part, again. Actual Japanese people in Japan aren't like this. Other Asians I talk to aren't like this. It is just, it is just when people fetishize our culture. When, when like, over the pond here in America, I'm sorry that there's some people who track their cars and just want to spend like two grand on a nice flow form set because they don't care about having a heavy multi-piece wheel to win a car show. Like we all got different builds for different reasons. But yeah, that's four mods I think Clout Culture has completely ruined or just generally takes way too seriously. Just know that it's your car, your money, and your life. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to subscribe and share it to your pet cantaloupe. Or antelope, actually. That's what I meant. Actually, you know what? Share it to your cantaloupe, too. See y'all next time. Blade Angel out.